I'm going to teach you how to prune an apple tree in under five minutes. Not pruning in under five minutes, but I'm going to teach you in under five minutes. I'm sure someone's going to get that wrong. First of all, the best time of year to prune fruit trees is when they are dormant. And it is currently March and the tree has not come out of dormancy yet. So I'm going to be pruning it. Some tools you'll need for pruning will be a pair of pruning shears. As you can see here, you're going to need a pair of really sturdy loppers. These are for reaching those uh, longer branches further away and also the bigger branches. And then in case you have some big branches to cut, you're going to want a nice handy saw. The first things you're going to prune off are the four D's. Things that are dead, things that are diseased, things that are damaged, and things that are dysfunctional. That covers most of the things that you're going to be pruning. Before getting started, the first thing I always do is do an overview of my tree to see kind of what the general shape of it is and what I think needs to be removed. When pruning a fruit tree, you never want to prune more than a third of the fruit tree. So if your tree is very overgrown, this might not look like you did a lot of work to it, but it's absolutely necessary for the health and longevity of the tree. For the first four Ds, we're going to look for dead, damaged, and diseased branches. This one here um, looks like it broke right there, so we're going to be removing this. Because I've been pruning my fruit tree for a few years, I've been able to remove most of the dead and damaged branches and disease branches in the past so it's hard for me to show you exactly but I'll try to put some footage here of what diseased and dead branches might look like. When you come across a dead branch the inside of the branch will be brown and that is your clue that that branch is dead and needs to be removed. Now how far back do you prune that? The, the key is to continue to prune back until you get green pith. That might be a couple inches that might be the entire branch and you don't know unless you keep pruning back until you get the green. One dysfunction is when branches are crossing. You can see that this branch here is crossing over into this one. Since these are crossing, they're going to rub against each other and cause some damage. One of these needs to be removed. I can make the decision to make either a heading cut or a thinning cut. Heading cut is where you prune back just a little bit into the branch. Thinning cut is when you prune all the way back to where that branch meets another branch. Here's how to properly cut. When you cut, do not cut like this and leave a nub. This will just cause problems. Instead, cut nice and flush with the branch. This seems self-explanatory, but you'll probably need a ladder too. All right, I'm going to attempt to take off all my water sprouts and thin this tree out. Any areas that are really heavy and just there's a lot of branches there, I'm going to try to thin that out a little bit. I'll try to show you, also speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole thing and also try to keep my son from dying. thought I'd bring you up here with me. This is just a mess of water sprouts. And the reason these water sprouts just don't work is they just don't produce fruit. This is not a conducive angle for an apple to ugh, dangle from. Sometimes like here, these two are headed straight into the center of the tree. Like how, just imagine this growing to a bigger branch. How is that gonna work? This is the trunk. So this is obviously has to go. If you ever hear someone talk about um, telling the difference between the different years of growth on your tree, here's how to know what they're talking about. Usually there are markers. For instance, here's a kind of a slightly swollen area and the branches look a little bit different from there to here. So that was probably uh, three years ago growth. This was uh, two years ago growth. It's, there's a junction. This looks a little bit fuzzier and this looks more woody. That is last, this is last year's growth. So when I'm doing a heady cut, I'm not going to prune back this far. I'm only going to prune in this area here where we had last year's growth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you if this were a larger branch, how to cut it in such a way that you won't end up ripping the bark. First, what I'm going to do is create a small cut right here underneath. I only cut it about a quarter inch or so in. And this is so that when I cut the branch off here, it, the bark will rip and it'll stop right at that cut there. And then I'll finish cutting it here. Now this branch is not that big, but if it were larger, do you see how it ripped here when I, when the branch fell down, the weight of it pulled the bark. And some, with larger branches, this will sometimes happen and it can rip all the way down the trunk of your tree. So to prevent that sort of thing from happening by creating this little uh, mark here and then chopping it here, 
it will rip until it meets there. And then now I'm going to do the flush cut to get rid of this little stump because all the weight of this is now gone. It's not gonna rip down. This right here is called the branch collar. And it, you wanna cut right up flush against that collar, but you don't wanna cut into it, like into here, because the, all the healing properties of the tree is kept in this branch so that when I cut it here, it will heal over. Remember when you are removing large branches, that does count towards your third of the tree that you're removing. If you are removing a large branch, then you want to back off and on as much pruning of the rest of the tree. Pruning trees can take years and years to get it to where you want it to be. So don't, definitely don't view it as a one, one year, I'm gonna fix my tree, but rather look at it as a several, anywhere up from one to five years of pruning constantly every season to create the tree that you want. That's healthy and that is functional. I've done pruning. I'm happy with the look of my tree as well as how it looks healthier and more functional than it did before. This is something you want to do every year regardless of how old your tree is. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that you learned a lot in these five minutes or more and that you feel empowered to go and prune your own fruit tree. Go out and grow something. Take care and God bless. Bye.